would choose, I think I might have found a favorite one. If you need boots, we got you covered. If you want some canvas, let me know. Hey, barefoot shoes make you move like a native son. Love's a brand new podcast. Hey, won't you listen to one? <laughs> what is up, y'all? I've got uh, a bunch of shoes to show you here. But most importantly, I may have found a new favorite barefoot shoe. If you haven't yet, you should definitely check out my previous video on this. I will link to it there or there or down there in the YouTube description because we get into a bunch more shoes than we're going to talk about today. This is kind of an add-on to that video. All right, now here is the shoe that I have been using for a long time. This is from Vivo. It is uh, just white leather. Listen, white is a bold move for shoes, once they break in, it gets a lot less sort of intense. But the truth is, they wipe clean. They're really kind of perfect amount of thin, wide enough toe box, right? They look fine. They work with whatever you're, I'm like kind of like an outdoorsy tech bro. You know, is where to, an outdoorsy, stony tech bro. That's where to put me. And these end up working quite well. There's another model that they have that has red and like a darker gray back here. I think I prefer that. I think it's might maybe a woman's shoe, but you know, hey man, <laughs> get in where you fit in. I think this is a solid everyday shoe, like more than solid. I have loved these. I can do everything that I want to in these, except for, I mean, I wouldn't like to run in these. I don't like to run in these. Speaking of running, what I'm doing right now, these are from Alta. I will link to these and all the shoes that I mentioned below. Here's the deal. These are a little cushier, okay? A little more for the high impact type stuff. What I was running in before, it got super weathery outside, were these Shama sandals. I just run in them. Like This is like, this is like pretty, yeah. I'm pretty serious um, barefoot guy, so, you know, sometimes I can just do this sort of stuff. Listen, move slowly into barefoot shoes is always the thing because you can totally grow the strength easy over time, right? Easy does it. You don't have to go all the way in, Rodney. Winter time, I can't really justify these guys, so I have actually gone for more of a trail shoe in these, and these have been great. Highly recommend because it's got a wide toe box. Still a little cushy, it's not full, massive. So for running and stuff, here's my like hiking and everything. Here's my everyday. I still can't wear these very much because the cushy kind of gets to my neuroma. Another favorite, the Lems boots. These are in leather. I love these things. They're really lightweight. I preferred Model 1 to this updated version, I have to say, Lems. There's subtle differences, but the value and the, the benefit is all still there. Super cozy on the inside. I oftentimes wear them without socks. They won't last probably as long if you wear them without socks, I'll be honest. But as far as rucking around outside, the Lems boot is still one of my favorites. I will link to these below. All of these shoes, basically, if you click my link below, that supports the channel. Massive thanks to you. Which brings me to possibly, well, actually, hold on. This episode is brought to you by... Western Rise create extremely versatile clothing for everyday life. Their evolution pants are comfortable, high performance. They don't wrinkle, they don't smell or stain. They stretch in every direction. I also love the diversion pant and the Spectrum jogger. Also, I'm often in their X cotton t-shirt. It's a little bit thicker. I like this t-shirt and this uh, jacket as well. This is Western Rise. I constantly get questions about this. It is epic, but they don't have it in stock right now. At least, but they might, you'll check. Western Rise are giving us 10% off when you use the link in the description. Thank you to Western Rise for supporting this channel and for supporting the launch of my podcast as well. That's awesome. Use the link in the description to get your discount. Let's get back into the video. Okay, new favorite potentially, but with some caveats. These are from Wildling. Okay, Wildling, it is their Tanuki Yori model. Extremely lightweight. Whoa, extremely flexible. Actually, super 
low key vibes on the feet. Much le even less of a statement than this. They're like perfect little ninja shoes, but they're also really low key, just all black. Now this material is a tiny bit stretchy. It's actually made from some like paper and some cloth. Check out their website for the details on it. It is very water permeable, but it dries fast. So this is an epic summer shoe. All right, spring, summer, when you're getting kind of a little bit in, in the lakes and the rivers and stuff like that. But here's the deal, winter time, this can, this can, you know, I've been, I've been rucking around with these and I do notice I suck up a little water from these bottom spots if you're in some terrain. However, however, I have been extremely enthused by my results with these shoes. They are really cozy, really comfortable, very good for growing the strength of your foot and not looking like someone who's about to pull their hair back in a ponytail and lecture you about Bitcoin. With these, I certainly noticed a ton more lightweight freedom vibes, okay? One of the things I love about these is there's a little more protection for my foot. Nice. These are even more protective, right? Let's ruck around in some actual muck, right? And then there were these. And I liked the fashion. I liked the style, right? I really liked the freedom of movement in these. Now, they're, they're, I use them loose. I use them really loose, slip on, slip off. I keep the laces loose. So, you know, you don't want to be playing basketball in these the way that I have them set up. They also have other shoes. This is Wildlings. Wildlings is, I think, German. They have like, this is like fully knit. I use these for running. Epic little running shoe. Epic. No socks necessary. Just go like a sock. They also have a high top version of the black shoe that I have been showing you. It's a little bit thicker material, so if that interests you, links below. I'll link to this one below as well as all of these. Wildlings, very responsible company. Shout out to Wildlings. I really like what you're doing. I liked their website. I like the way things were merchandised on the website. Very Waldorfy kids shoes. Oh my God. Which I'm a, which I'm into. <laughs> I've got a four-year-old daughter fired up about the Waldorfy kids shoes that we can get for her there. Okay, like I said before, just an addendum to my other video. There are these are still top of the top. There's some other shoes in that video, like like uh, the Birchberries and others that people really dig. I am adding this to my list of favorite barefoot shoes with the caveat that it is not for a winter time. I mean, even if you put on some wool socks, I find that with thick wool socks, like I start getting my Neroma thing again. It start like the, the barefoot sort of thing starts to lose its its impact. And, and it's really nice to have all corners, four corners of my feet on the ground in these, in these, in these. The thicker the sock, the harder that gets. Which, by the way, these are some uh, shoes, some socks from Injinji, my running socks that have little toe things. I'll link to these below. These these end up being quite nice. They have them in merino as well as some performance cotton. I go for the cotton, though I went for the merino before. If you are watching this video shortly after I have published it, if you're one of my subscribers, I've just released a podcast. I'll link to it below. Check that out. If you have questions about these barefoot shoes, if you have uh, advice or ideas, holler in the comments below. Please subscribe. We are about to pass 100,000 subscribers on this channel, which means we're about to do a massive giveaway. And I'm hoping that we can get some of these shoe companies involved in the giveaway. Last time we gave away thousands of dollars worth of gear. This time I'm hoping to give away tens of thousands of dollars worth of gear. All you have to do is go to matterful.co and subscribe to the email list there. We don't send you any spams. We're interested in everyday items that are good. If you're into barefoot shoes, you're probably into what we're talking about at matterful.co. So subscribe there and you will be entered to potentially win in the giveaway. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to my patrons. Shout out to any of you who just found this video. You looking for some barefoot stuff? That's awesome. Barefoot changed my life. I mean, obviously I, I wear shoes. I'm not walking around barefoot, but healthy foot means healthier movement all the way up from the bottom up, right? When you do your yoga postures, come at it from the bottom up. When you're breathing, breathe from the bottom up, right? Gravity works like that. 
I don't know why I'm giving you that sort of treatise, except for the fact that if you're interested in barefoot shoes, you're probably interested in how you live your life. So check out what we're doing at Matterful.co and check out my new podcast, Travel Light with Chase Reeves. It's not about how to pack. It's not about just travel stuff. It's about actually how do we live lifestyles of significance? How do we create our own? How do we build our own? I'm interviewing my friends. I'm interviewing my heroes. Talking about, you know, it's just another fucking podcast. Like we need another one of those. But this one's mine. Please like it and subscribe and leave me a positive iTunes rating. <laughs> okay, that's it. Shout out to you. Remember, be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>